morning well. Got a ferry to catch. So it's a massive, massive 2.1 miles to the ferry. So what is going on with them? That's not very aero, is it? So yeah, feeling okay. Bit of a knee twinge. Bar that. I think we're okay. Nervous. Need to. No, no, I don't. It's a slightly shorter day today. 20 miles across the Isle of Wight and then 112 from Portsmouth to Brands Hatch. And I've got a couple of people to ride with me for a bit today at least. See you on the ferry. Harbour. Thank you very much to John. It has so really been appreciated that getting directions through. No drafting. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. yeah. Come to the Isle of Wight. It's glorious, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a shame that we can get too more people out for you. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. People, you know, got no one lives. We've actually done that into the head in the So I'm going to eat now. I'm not going to do some mechanical things. Yes. Okay, right. Huh? I think we're on a catamaran here, so I'll go on the stairs and have a look from there. Did it shout single file while we're in the bike lane? Don't know. I don't care. <laughs> so Moggy, I'm in in your hood. Here we are, soon approaching West Sussex. Right, rest stop one, day one, day two, gone. As you see here behind, bit of food, bit of water. Had to pee, yes. So, onwards. Arundel, Arundel now, Anna. Arundel. So I'm going to bid farewell to Jack. You're giving me a nice easy route here. Help, 50 miles, sort of help along. Help me along, yeah. So yeah. That was Jeff, what a dude. Now I've got a nice long downhill. What am I, 58 miles in? Feeling good. Whew. So I now enter the South Downs, and uh, I think this is Amberley. Uh, wow. It's beautiful. Well, wherever I am, which is in the middle of somewhere really, really, really lovely, with every house worth a squiddy and quid, the roads, excuse my French, are an absolute shit show. I'm just absolutely covered. Foliage, potholes, terrible surfaces. Just there to this. Absolutely appalling. But look at the place, it's gorgeous. I think it's fair to say that these roads are far, far superior to yesterday. 
This is great, apart from obviously what I've just mentioned. Well, if you can see me, I'm going to ride down into Horsham now. Dave, do remember this place well. Okay, eat into my day. It's not you, Rod. So, yeah, I am at Horsham Sainsbury's. We've just been shopping. We, Jude, just been shopping. Get me some us, some provisions. Still feeling good. I'm at 17 miles an hour. We've been chonging along today. We've had the, say, the help of just directions and the better roads, and it's been pretty flat. So, and uh, only one climb. But it gets a bit hilly and a bit busy now because I've got to get through Horsham, then through Crawley, dip my toe into East Sussex, and then it's north to Brantach with a couple of dirty hills to finish. Uh, and I think it's going to hoof it down. I've just had a couple of drops of rain. I can't decide whether to put my shake dry on. Do I risk it? Do I risk it or not? Well, it's a very, very long, easy climb out of Horsham to the west through Colgate. And of course it's raining, naturally. Of course I didn't put my, uh, didn't put the shade dry. I was worried about overheating in that thing. Cycle path. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we're carrying this bit. Jesus. That's um, interesting. More traffic negotiated through Crawley. It's not bad to be honest, it is Sunday. Just passed some signs for Cookfield. It's got no relevance to anyone watching, but um, my mum and dad lived in Cookfield for a while before little old me came along. And my dad was uh, stationed down this way in the army in the 70s. It's nice to see some open countryside. Both sides. So well, it seems I've chanced upon the road that was for the London to Brighton this morning. Well, if this road is used on the uh, London to Paris, then I feel sorry for all you riders. This is appalling. It's a disgusting road to ride on. It's a two-hand. Just there, isn't it? I'm just coming up towards Eden Bridge, which is my last stop for the day. I think I'm going to stop for about three minutes because I don't need anything and I feel good. Yeah, I'm at 100 miles here. I'm sure I've gone somewhere different to where Dewey is. Hmm. I should only have about 22 miles left. Should. Um. Well, all is not lost. I just stopped to ring headquarters to find out exactly where I was. Um, because I could have sworn I'd gone past. I'm only six miles away, so I'll be here in 20 minutes. So, yeah, still enjoying myself. Um, bear with. Still feeling good, so yeah. Get there, splash and dash. Got enough food to last me the rest of the day. Bish bash bosh. Yeah. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, yeah. Between Arundel and Horsham, everyone's got a Porsche. Everyone, convinced. Anyone for golf? It has been raining for, say, the last hour, but I'm really enjoying it. It's keeping me fresh. Absolutely wonderful. Ugh, it's still hoofing down, look. Uh, I mean, Eden Bridge, final stop of the day. Spotted you a mile away, because, you know, big horse box. Uh, yeah, it's wet, so I'm taking the top off that I've got on. That's going in the wash with the other stuff tonight. Fresh, fresh jersey and shake dry. I think that's a necessity. I mean, I'm not cold though. I'm relatively comfortable. It's just, you know, visibility and safety and all that. But yeah, about 20 miles left to go. Feeling, feeling all right. No real twinges or anything to, uh, to complain about. Still above target speed. Chonging on. There's a few horrible hills on the way, so let's look forward to them. Eh? Does Ide Hill ring my bell to any of you guys? Looks like there's a fair, a fair climb here. About a mile. 
on and off and some red stuff later on. Scratch that. Toys Hill. That's where I'm going. Just came off the main road. Saw the road sign and went, ah! I remember what that 100 Greatest Climbs book said. So this will bring the average down. I'm still at 16.4 miles an hour. So this will bring it down. It's rather nice here. Whew. Probably wasn't the best idea putting that in the end of today. That's quite the sign, that. Fair play. Still above target, so mustn't grumble. I'll take it done. And that's how you do it. Nice little toot before you go past. That's the first one I've had in these two days. See all that red? Ugh. More hills. Might be the last one. Oh, well, there was no recording there. That was dirty. Certainly, uh, certainly ate into the reserves a bit. That did. I've only got a couple of miles to go, I think, now. So. Nice down a little bit now. I think there's one more hill to do. So hopefully, it's not a big one. Well, it wasn't as bad, but it was still a sting in a bloody tail. Anyway, let's go. We're downhill in the wet. Well, this is very nice, isn't it? Look, there's my wife. Hello, wife. Oh, hello. Socks. Um, they were orange earlier. Filthy roads that haven't been rained on for a long time. And then rain. Never mind it. This is rather swish, isn't it? Just for reference. I've paid 30 quid for this. And Brand Hatch is over, over them trees just there. Typically, they have had an American classic thing on today, which is really annoying. And I've missed something else as well. Oh, yeah, the Paris. No, London to Brighton Pike Road. But that's not a bad thing. Right, that's going to do me. I'm going to sign off for today because um, I've got spa treatment. So, uh, yeah. Thank you very much. Let's see what tomorrow brings, eh? Hey?